This Pros for Africa segment is made possible by Bank 2 and by Works 24. So you've seen Pros for Africa in action, whether it's the doctors treating hundreds at the clinics, providing new sources of water throughout Uganda with new wells, or providing hope, help, and love with its many school visits. But it was the action of one Pros for Africa member in saying thank you in a way that one Ugandan teenager could never imagine. You're back sitting over there by the wall. My name's John Hargrave. I'm the president of East Central University in Ada, Oklahoma. I came to Africa for the experience. I wanted to see what it was like, and I've always wanted to come to Africa my whole life. Uh, he, he had lost his suitcase with a fly. He told me to go back and fold it up, so I fold it up. When we reached here in Igulu, he wanted to give us some money as a token of appreciation. With just kindness in their hearts, delivered the luggage here after spending two days negotiating for its release and refusing compensation. So he says, okay, uh, you know I am a president of a university. He said, right, and I, uh, do you want to study? He said, yes, of course. I have given a scholarship. I said, wow. So I get excited to hear that I'm going to Oklahoma. That's something I did not expect. And I think God works for. This is a real miracle that has happened to me. I could not believe that it could happen to me. As you can see, these Oklahomans set out to make an impact, and each person did in their own unique way. But for some pros, the bigger impact was actually made within. Oklahomans who set out to change the face of Uganda left having been changed themselves. When I landed here, I thought I didn't have any preconceived ideas of what it was going to be. And then I realized I did have preconceived ideas. Honest, I didn't know a whole lot. I mean, just the random things that you hear on the news, that there's a lot of unrest, um, a lot of trauma, a lot of displaced people. You know, I, I probably didn't think about it enough. Uh, I think what I pictured was when we went to Adiat yesterday. Uh, just phenomenal poverty, grass huts, dirt roads, dirt floors. You know, seeing little kids, you know, and I know they can't be older than four or five years old. Um, carrying babies, you know, two to three month year old babies on their back. You know, I see little kids who got around the same age, you know, pumping water and, you know, um, carrying wood and stuff on their head just to, just to try to make it. And, um, you know, those are some of the things I sit back in and I kind of put things in perspective. The first thing that you think is just compassion. I mean, you just feel an overwhelming sense of compassion for them. For me, um, it's been a life-changing experience. Just seeing the work that they're doing here, um, the hope and dignity that Sister Rosemary has restored in these women has just been unreal. To see those nice people again, to be able to give back, to touch their lives, heal as much as we can, put a smile on their faces, was an amazing experience. Loved it, enjoyed every second of it. Ready, willing to come back anytime. I feel like the difference that we've been able to make is to look them in the eye, give them a sense of dignity. Um, obviously there's more people here than what we can help personally, but what I can do is reach into my pocketbook and take out of my um, uh, you know, abundance and help here and make a direct impact in the lives of these people. This is what healthcare is all about. We're providing care with very little resources, very little availability, and very humble and wonderful people. I think that they have as much that they can teach us as we can teach them. But I think together we can help them. If you don't get involved, you don't know who will. I mean, the main thing is these people up here, just like being in ATAC yesterday, they had never seen American doctors before. Um, no one comes up here to do what we're doing. I can't imagine anyone not being motivated. It may not be Uganda, it may be in the United States, it may be in another country, but I can't imagine uh, after watching this special that someone wouldn't want to say, what can I do to help others? Oh, I think it's very evident that one person can make a difference. I had an opportunity today to hold a little boy whose daddy is dying from tetanus. It's amazing to think that tetanus could be something that someone could die of in this day and age. And I held this little boy in my arms and I asked Sister Rosemary, I said, so what would it take 
to take care of this little boy for a year? She said, probably $150. And I'm one guy. I got $150. We can take care of this little boy. So uh, no one can do everything, but everybody can do something. Here's your chance to do something in the form of a donation to Pros for Africa. Every dollar raised will go directly to Sister Rosemary and her St. Monica's Tailoring School for Girls. $100 could pay a girl's rent for a year. That includes room for her children. $50 could buy enough food and provide medical care for that family for an entire month. And for as little as $5, you could provide a girl with a mosquito net that would keep them free from bites that lead to the often fatal disease of malaria. Two ways for you to donate, call Pros for Africa at this toll-free number, 877-847-6124. Or you can log on to our websites, news9.com or the newson6.com forward slash Pros for Africa. The phone lines will be open until 8.30 tonight. We'd also like to hear from you. Leanne and I want to chat with you on the web. Log on to newson6.com or news9.com and click on the Cover It Live button to share your thoughts or ask us questions. We will be on for the next hour. Before we leave you, though, a special thanks to photojournalist Mark McBride and executive producer Brian Eckert. We'll leave you with some of the sights and sounds we were treated to during our time in Uganda.